Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Sunny here. And today we are taking a look at PVP hit rate. So I get the question all the time, just how much accuracy do I need? Should I build accuracy accessories, etc., etc.? et, cetera, et cetera. And the answer is, I don't know. But today I'm going to show you how you find out if you should or shouldn't. So let's jump into it. So first things first, um, big shout out to gamoth.com. That is the homepage I'm going to be using to show you guys how to calculate your PVP hit rate. On top of that, probably most important, big shout out to Big and Shiny. A link to his Twitch and also link to Gamma are going to be in the description. Big and Shiny is the guy behind all the math uh, for the PVP and also the PVE hit rate. He has done thousands of hours of testing to bring us the actual formula to calculate hit rates. So big shout out to um, Gamoth and Big and Shiny for making this a possibility. So for this uh, calculator, I've gone in and I've made a C9 build. Now the actual gear isn't that important, uh, neither is the class. What I'm going to show you is how you make your own build and figure out how much hit rate or accuracy you need in your build for whatever you want to do. So today I've made a Musa and I've made a Musa because currently Musa is a bit of the flavor of the month. So I figured might as well uh, use that instead of the warrior, which I play myself. So I went in and, and made a build for Musa. Now I went with a C9 build and I'm going to be using a C9 evasion build as my target to hit. So I've made three different builds here. The first build is uh, pure human damage. We are going full out glass cannon. Uh, the only difference really here is just the crystals. You can see the different crystals we are using here. We've gone full out on human damage, most importantly, also in the gloves. The second build I'm going to show you guys is a more balanced all around build. Um, we got Jin Vipers, we're using the evasions, and we're using four hooms in this build, and still the same crystals here. And then the final build is the same as the second with accuracy, but we're also using a Tet Taurus build. So now we're throwing on a piece of accuracy gear. Now, when you're making these video plan, sorry, <laughs> these Gamma uh, gear planner uh, habits I had, uh, make sure you go into passives and enable all. Uh, and also over here, if you're playing Awakening and Succession, make sure you enable on uh, and we save those. Okay, so how does this work? How do I figure out how much uh, accuracy I need? First off, we're going to go with no buffs this time around. So I'm going to select no buffs here. You can make your own buff build if you want to. Make sure all your journals are enabled. We got a build here and we're going to go over to the side and we're very simply just going to go PVP hit rate calculator. Now, when you come in here to this page, it's going to look something like this. You'll be able to take your own build here. We're going to pick this one. This is my gear in this case. And over here, you can either test against a build you make. Maybe you have a friend or maybe you have an evasion build yourself. You want to test hit rate versus. Or you can go and you can pick a preset. You're going to have these three options. You got the C9 evasion. You got a C20 AP evasion build. And you have the full... Uh, deep evasion with sizzles, centaurs, and full gemming for it as well. We're going to go with C9 evasion because that's equal in gearing to what I have right here. Now, as you can see, um, quite quickly with the full AP build here, the difference <laughs> in hit rate and that is kind of uh, massive. However, we are not done. Over here, depending on what target you are hitting, you want to make sure to add the different buffs in. So I went with a striker build I'm hitting, and strikers have a self buff of 15 evasion passives. Uh, well, uh, 15 evasion. On top of that, you can expect them to always have skill add-ons, uh, so they will get plus four more evasion. And suddenly, you have a 23% hit rate against a C9 evasion. This is not even using uh, evasion accessories. However, we're not done. Over here, this right here is your skill add-ons. You should pretty much always have an ability with plus four um, accuracy. It's a T2 skill add-on, so that's something everyone can do. On top of that, you really want to uh, use a debuff add-on as well. 
So you can get minus four evasion debuff as well on top of that. Now, this one here, unskilled accuracy. So that you wanna go and take a look at your class. Now I don't play a Musa, so what I did is I went to BDO Codex and I went up here and found uh, Musa and I just been reading through some of the abilities. Now, um, I know for a fact, after reading these things, that Musa Awakening has an ability. Let's see if we can find it um, here. Eradicate, um, which gives me a self buff of plus nine accuracy for 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to add that into this number here. So that's a self buff I have. Just like a Mystic or Striker over here has a 15% evasion buff. So we're gonna add the self buff over here. Now, the next thing you wanna do uh, with adding is check out the different hit rate on the abilities. And I just went through all the abilities here from, um, from Musa Awakening Kit. And the normal number of hit rate was around 10% of accuracy on the abilities. So we're gonna add another 10, making it 19 on the self skills. Now it's looking a bit better now on the hit rate. Another thing to keep in mind is uh, e-buffs or stuff like that. Now, Musa has an e-buff that gives me plus 15% uh, accuracy. Now, I could look around and be like, well, as long as I can kill people with my e-buff up, I don't need to overstack accuracy at that point. So imagine this, you have 100% hit rate, and then you pop your e-buff, and you have 115%. Well, that 15% accuracy is worth nothing. That is wasted power budget. So you might want to factor that into your build. I'm gonna do that now because that's how I like to play. So we're gonna add plus 15%, turning this into a 34% unskilled accuracy. And suddenly it's not looking too shabby. And this is with a full human damage build. Now we can jump down here and we can check out what happens when I then uh, make a normal balance build. And we now have a 24% dodge rate, meaning I hit 75% of all my hits. We could also then check out, maybe I wanna put on a piece of accuracy gear and suddenly I have 80% hit rate against a full C9 evasion target being an awakened Musa. And that is going to be really, really, really strong. So as you can see, you need probably more accuracy than you think you do, but it's fairly easy to get it as long as you remember all your buffs and debuffs. Now, should you build the human damage build or should you build a medium build or like full out accuracy build? Well, that depends what you need to do. And this is where a lot of people seem to misunderstand about having like the correct build. Let's say you're playing a Musa and let's say that you are into uh, large scale fighting. Is your job to kill the Mystics and the Strikers? Probably not. Your job is most likely going to be to run in and annihilate uh, the backline, the actual people with the uh, builds. So, we can go over here again and we can take a look what is my how much accuracy do I actually need to kill a DR build? And we're gonna uh, change this one up here and we're just gonna use ourselves. Like how much accuracy do I need to actually be able to have a good hit rate against the same build as I'm running? So we're gonna pick this one here for now. And would you look at that? Now, if I'm playing a Musa, I don't have the 15% evasion buff. So we can remove that. Um, same with some other classes. And suddenly we are already super overcapped. If we go for the full human damage build, we could even remove the E buff and we would still have a 100% hit rate against an equally geared opponent. So the question about how much accuracy do I need, it depends. What do you need your build to do? What do you need to excel at? And if you want to be able to kill anyone that rolls up to you on a duel for spot, you might want to be stacking just at least uh, accuracy gemming 
proper setup, maybe have one piece of accuracy gear. But if you want to specialize your build and you want to like excel at blowing up uh, the people that you need to blow up in a group fight or GBG or node war, then maybe you don't need any accuracy at all. Guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop a comment. I try to answer every single question on these videos. And also feel free to drop by my stream. I stream several times a week at twitch.tv slash Prime. Catch you in the next one.